Today we're going to be going over the ASC export script version 1.3 for Blender 2.59. This is the latest release of Blender and we are going to go over the installation, adding materials, uh, texturing, going over smoothing groups, adding some collision objects, and then finally bringing this mesh, which is a traffic cone, over into UDK. Uh, you'll see right here, this is our beautiful traffic cone, and we're going to bring this into the Unreal Engine. I'm going to start by adding a new material onto my traffic cone and then going over and assigning a new texture to it. And you can see that I already have this uh, the UV seams applied to it. If I close this you should be able to see them right there. So there are our UV seams. Now I did a quick job on this, nothing uh, too, too crazy. Um, you'll also see that I have two UV textures. The first one will be for the texture image itself. The second one will be for uh, lighting in the Unreal Engine. So right here I'm going to go over to the first UV set. I'm going to hit UVs, export UV layout, export to desktop. I'm going to name this export. Once that's done, I'm going to go over to my desktop, and you'll see here is our file right here. I will open it up with Photoshop or GIMP or whatever your program of choice is, and you'll see that the UVs are right here. Now, what I can do is take my paint tools and then uh, put in color and uh, texture it, which I already did over here with uh, my three-year-old texturing job with my favorite Photoshop crayons. And you can see, like I said, it was a quick job just to get it done. It's already done. So I'm going to go back into Blender. I'm going to select the texture slot, make it an image, open, go to my desktop, and select my new texture. Make sure that you set the coordinates down here to UV. And I'm going to render this out to make sure that it is working correctly. Alright, there we go. Like I said, it was a quick job. You can see down here I have some uh, bleeding onto the white parts that should be white, but it works for our purposes. Now, also over here you will see the blue lines now, which uh, in previous versions of Blender, the uh, hard edge seams were the same color as UV seams. So in uh, the latest update, it's changed. Now it's blue. So everywhere that you see these blue lines at will be its own smoothing group. So from here, in between these two blue lines will be its own smoothing group. In between this one and this one down here will be its own smoothing group. And uh, to do that, to mark sharp edges, make it out of wireframe mode, I'll select my edges that I want to be uh, a smoothing group. Like these four right here, press Control E and mark sharp. And what I just did with the four edges selected, it will create a smoothing group in between these two uh, edge rings right here, in between these two edge rings right here, and it will create a smoothing group in between these two at the top. So anything in between two uh, edge, hard edge seams will be its own smoothing group inside of UDK. So now what we're going to do is to add some collision objects. I'm going to go into object mode, shift A, add a cube, scale it up, and instead of adding just one uh, collision object, I'm going to add multiple. That way you can really see how this can work really well to define your meshes. So I'm going to add another cube, scale it up, and this will be for the base for the middle part, and I will add one more cube at the top, scale, shift Z, and scale down on the Z axis a little bit more, grab, doesn't have to be perfect, that's good enough, alright, so we have three collision uh, objects, now to define them as collision objects I have to select them and give them a UCX underscore prefix. Any of the other collision prefixes will work as, as well, but for now it'll be good enough just to do UCX cube 3. All right.
Y. So we have, oh, didn't do that one. UCX cube one, UCX cube two, and UCX cube three. Now before you export, you should save your file. And just so that when it triangulates all the meshes, or all the, uh, the quads, uh, you can revert back to your original mesh. I'm going to select all of these objects, and you can also notice that I didn't UV unwrap the collision objects, I didn't assign a material, uh, they could just be uh, straight geometry. I'm going to go File, Export, ASCII Scene Export. I have auto triangles on. I'm going to export it out to my desktop. I'm going to open up UDK. And in here I have a new scene, right, which you can see. I'm going to go into the package here. I'm going to import the traffic barrel. I'm going to import the texture. is traffic barrel 2 and I'm going to create a material from this texture. I'm going to make a few modifications real quick and build my lighting and I'm going to pause the video for that time that way you don't have to watch me build the lighting. I'm going to open up the material real quick before I do that. I'm going to control click and drag this out here and apply the changes and I'm going to drag the material onto the object and I'm going to build my lighting. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back shortly. Before I pause the video and uh, build the lighting I wanted to go over what we exported out real quick. I'm going to open up the traffic barrel and you'll see here is the barrel itself. I'm going to click show collision and it'll show out our uh, UCX objects, which we exported out three, and there they are. I'm going to turn off the collision again. I'm going to show the UV overlay. I'm going to go to channel zero, which is the first UV set, which is uh, the one used for the texture images. And here is the second one, which is used for lighting inside of UDK. So multiple UV channels and multiple collision objects were exported out with the traffic cone. I'm going to go ahead and pause and let it build the lighting and then we'll run it and see what it looks like. Okay, so I already built the lighting, which you can uh, do by clicking this button up here. And now I'm going to run the game and we can see our traffic cone in action as soon as it loads up. Now, remember that I got rid of the UDK pa panel, it was not working for me. It was, uh, program and I just got rid of it. So here we go. Here is our traffic cone which is huge. All right. and there you go. Imported right into UDK from Blender using the ASC export script 1.3. Now the ASC file, file format is for static meshes only. Right, which, uh, there were some questions about that and uh, for now, that's what it does. If you found this tutorial useful, make use of the donate button you'll find on this page. Thanks everybody. See you later.